Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be unboxing, I believe this is the June box for Tribe Beauty Box. So I know this is going to be fairly late, June is almost over, but of course with the current situation, shipping was a bit delayed, and so I just got this package like yesterday. <laughs> and I'm filming this, I'm going to try and get it up as soon as possible. What we're going to be doing is reviewing all the products that I got in the last Tribe Beauty Box, which was, what, April? May? Yes, June. <laughs> so this was the April box. And I'm going to be reviewing all those products and then we'll be unboxing the products that I got in the next one. So I have to say, uh, I have some thoughts about the products in the last box considering I've had a couple of months to fully try them out. So let's just jump in. Yeah, also not wearing any makeup. It's a nice lazy Sunday. I'm doing a lot of cleaning around the house. And uh, once I'm done, I'm going to take a nice long bubble bath. So you're just going to have to enjoy my lovely red natural face and the fan that's blowing my hair back like I'm in a, a, a L'Oreal commercial. So I still have the card from the April box here, so we'll just go in order of everything that's on the card. The first one was the palette we got. So this was from Suva Beauty, and this was the Rose Period palette, kind of like a uh, modern renaissance e kind of palette. Now I used this quite a few times, and I tested it out just about every shade, and I have to say, I was fairly disappointed. Everything here was really dry. The colors weren't really super pigmented. I had to like keep digging in and reapplying to really build up the color. And I just wasn't really impressed. I was actually fairly disappointed because it's a really pretty looking palette. The colors look great, but trying to put them on the eye is a struggle. And then they do not last throughout a full day. Like at the end of, even like in my house, even now that I am just sitting at a desk working or editing all day, these looked really bad at the end of the day. So unfortunately, this was a bit of a dud. I'm probably going to be decluttering this during my next uh, eyeshadow palette declutter. And uh, yeah, just disappointed because this is my first product from Suva Beauty that I've tried and not really impressed. Next we have the highlighter. So this is the Annette 69 Highlighter by Beauty Creations. And this, I actually really liked this highlighter. Uh, I thought the packaging was a little bulky, but honestly it's not too bad and I like that it's square. If you're going to make bulky packaging, at least make it a nice shape so it's easy to store, right? Uh, but I really like this. At first I thought this was going to be too dark for my skin tone, but as long as I blend it in with a fluffy brush, it looks fine. You can definitely build up the color and make it very dark, but I like that it's a bit versatile in that way. So you could either put it on with a more dense brush and get a much more golden deep shade, or you can put it on the fluffy brush, really blend it out, and it looks good even on my pale as hell complexion, you know? So I really like this. I like the product. I like how much product you get in it. According to the card, this retails for $15.99. I think this is worth $15.99. And I'm not sure if I would have bought this exact shade. I probably would have gone, if they have an, a lighter shade of this highlighter, I probably would have gone for that one. But I have to say, it got me a little bit out of my comfort zone, and I'm happy that I actually, like, can use this. And it looks really pretty. And it'll last me forever. Like, this is a baked, like, dome product. It's gonna last forever. So, we've got one good product and one dud product so far. Next, we have the Cognac Sponge facial sponges. And yes, it, on the card it says Cognac Sponge facial sponges. So I guess the brand is called Cognac Sponge. So I tried, they, this came with two. So this was the box and it came with two sponges. One was black and one was white. So I left the black one in here and I tested out the white sponge. Now, first of all, this is what it looks like after you use it and then try to clean it and then let it dry back out. It'll, it's looking a little crusty. I used this for a couple of weeks and I kept it in my shower because I noticed like this is pretty messy. Like it's got the string to hold it up, but anywhere in my bathroom outside of the shower, this would have made a huge mess. So I left this in my shower hanging on like on a little hook by my face wash. And it was just kind of an extra unnecessary step. Uh, especially because I thought like it's a pretty hard sponge, but once you wet it, it goes almost completely squishy like it's basically a, a washcloth at that point because i thought it, if anything it, it might be nice to use as an exfoliant but once you actually wet this all the way down it's it's not exfoliating it's you're just it's like an extra step that i wasn't really needing in my face wash especially because i was only using this in the shower i wasn't using this at night when i was washing my face in the sink because it made too much of a mess so how much are they worth? They are worth $15. Yeah, I've, I wouldn't have bought these. Uh, this was the white one that I used for a few weeks. I'm going to throw this out because it's kind of gross. And that's one thing. It's really hard to wash these. Like even when I use like my face wash, I'm just kind of like, and it's on the ground. 
anyway, even trying to wash them, they still looked dingy and gross. So if anything, I'm going to just throw the black one into my shower and maybe use this a couple of times and then do the same. I'll probably just toss it. So I, I wasn't a huge fan and it, again, kind of a dud. Next, we have the Rose Quartz Lip Plump by Skin Chemists. Now you'll see this is like halfway empty. I loved this product at first. I was using this daily, not as a lip plumper because it barely plumped a little bit. And I have to say with my lip size, I feel like I don't need a plumper. I don't know if that's just me, but I really like this as a lip gloss. It was really moisturizing and it stayed on my lips for a long time and I just really liked it. So I was using it as a lip gloss. After a couple of weeks of using this though, I noticed I was breaking out all around my mouth and it was bad like it was worse I got a couple of leftover like breakouts down here just because I just had my period but like when I was using this I was getting bad breakouts like all the way down here my chin all the way like it was just right here I was getting really bad breakouts and I tested everything I was like is it the toothpaste that I'm using is it my skincare I haven't changed anything in my skincare what could it be and then I realized this so I stopped using this and all my breakouts immediately calmed down so that was a bit of a disappointment because I actually really like the product like as a lip gloss but I couldn't keep using it when I realized this is what was really breaking me out so I don't know what the ingredient is that really broke me out or what because I also don't even really have sensitive skin I've got like normal skin normal combination skin so I was pretty shocked that my skin reacted so poorly to this product so that's one thing I have to warn you if you see this product or this brand and you have sensitive skin just beware and do do your patch testing because I was shocked by how badly like this made me break out so that goes without saying but this is definitely not worth the $29.99 price tag that the card says it is which wow all right, and last but not least, we have the two lip liners. These are the Definer Liners by Mirabella Beauty. They're $18 each, so a bit pricey, but I have to say, I don't use lip liner that much, but these are really good lip liners. <laughs> They're like, I guess you could put them on par with like the MAC lip liners. They're also, I think, around $18. And I love the shades that we were given. So like the nice pink and the nice kind of like purpley shades. They're really nice and they're big full pencils. So like $18 seems a bit steep up front, but you can use the entire pencil. I'm probably gonna have this for like years, you know, before I use up the entire thing. So I really think this was actually a really good product to have. I love the formula. I tried it out a few times, even though I'm not one to really reach for lip liners, but I tried them out, I liked them, and I do think that they are worth that price up front because I'm never gonna like finish these, you know? Okay, so that was everything. I have to say, uh, what, only two? Well, three if you count both lip liners. So it was a very hit, like half and half bag for me. So mm, hoping to have a little bit of a better uh, ratio in the next bag. Okay, so let's start with the big palette because I want to jump right in. So I've never heard of this brand and it seems kind of like a knockoff brand just because of the way that it's named. And this is from Lorac Cosmetics and it's not you know, the Lorac Pro Lorac Cosmetics, it's a different brand. So this is called the Chocolate Box and it's this big highlight and eyeshadow palette. And I have to say, pretty impressed just up front. Like I like, even though this is a fairly neutral palette, I kind of like this half of the palette where it's like neutral, but we've got like this nice like mustard yellow. And I have, I like the look of some of these shimmers too. And then the big highlighters in the middle, I think those, those look really pretty. So I'm pretty excited. This side looks like what the Rose Period palette was kind of hoping to do. And then this was like a nice little neutral side. So I'm excited to like try this out. Though I have never, you know, heard of that brand. So let's read what the card says. Apparently this retails for $43. Woo. Unfortunately, my card got a little bit cut off the edges, so I can't read everything, but uh, this captivating hybrid palette boosts two huge, lavish, high beam highlights in an endless collection of creamy, chocolatey hues. The Chocolate Box palette is the new iconic palette on the block, showcasing 18 ultra, -dimen ultra pigmented mattes, six prismatic metallics, and two extra dimensional strobe powder highlights. This palette is like nothing else seen before. Oh, okay. So I don't know about that price. We're going to have to really test that out to see if it's worth that price, but I'm excited to dive in and try this. Next, we have a mascara, which I actually just opened up a new mascara, so I don't know if I'm going to open this up fairly anytime soon, but this is from Radial Cosmetics, and this is the Mascara XXL Extreme Lash Maximizer in just black velvet, so it's just the black mascara. Again, I don't really want to open this right now, 
because I literally just, oh, that's huge. Because I literally just opened up a mascara. But you can never go wrong with having an extra mascara as a backup. I really do, I feel like in um, subscription boxes like this, mascaras are like such a good thing to try because you're really only supposed to keep them for three months. So that's something I could see you including in boxes. So I'm actually pretty excited to have a nice mascara. This retails for $29. Oof. So it is a higher end one. So I am going to be a bit stricter with how I, I guess, judge this because you know how much I love my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which is only $4.99. So this has to be really above and beyond to wow me. All right. So um, speaking of that brand, so the brand that created the lip balm that really broke me out we have another product from them in this box and because of that i am very hesitant i don't think i'm going to i don't know if i'm going to use this honestly I, I might patch test it but i'm very hesitant because the other product really broke me out and this is a rose illuminating glow peel off mask so it's a face mask let's read what the card says a skin rejuvenating peel off face mask treatment to help exfoliate dead skin cells and reveal a youthful and smoother complexion skin is glowing illuminated and refreshed so yeah, I'm gonna have to do like a, a thorough spot test or two for this just to make sure it's not gonna break me out like the other product, but oh, I like the packaging. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do some thorough spot testing before I even let this anywhere near, you know, my face. <laughs> also, it's supposed to retail for how much? $43 for a peel-off mask. Eh. Well, we shall, we shall see. All right, next we have a product from Pure Cosmetics. I know this brand. <laughs> and this is a chrome glaze in what shade? We have the shade Innocent. So this looks like a velvet matte lipstick. And I like the shade. It's basically just a nude shade. Let's see. Ooh, I like this packaging and I like that it's kind of mini. It's not too big. Let's, ooh, do a little swatchy. Ooh, that's deeper than I thought it was going to be. It's definitely deeper than the box, but there's the shade. Okay. This seems like it'd be a really nice, like, fall lip color. But it feels really smooth. It dries down pretty fast. So I'm excited to try that out. I've heard good things about other products from Pure, but I've never, uh, like, tried anything outside of their, um, I think I tried their eyeshadows once. But yeah, I haven't tried a whole lot from this brand, so I'm excited to go out of the, go out of my comfort zone and try something new. All right, and last but not least, we have a face mask, which this is kind of confusing to me because, just sorry, area face. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, so we have a sheet mask, and I was confused because it says 12 mini masks, and I was wondering, like, how are you supposed to use the mini masks if it's only in one pack? Like, it's, it's in one little package but it's apparently mini masks that you're supposed to use all over your face and body at once so that makes a lot more sense monica Let, let's read the card stressed spelled backwards is desserts so what better way to relax and renew than with our mini mask skin treats benefits hydrate skin helps to even skin tone fight signs of aging skin helps prevent skin moisture loss that's kind of funny that sounds a lot like if you're writing an essay and you have a word count and you're trying to hit the word count because they put hydrate skin and then helps prevent moisture loss and then i don't know it just sounds like they're kind of repeating themselves but i'm excited i really like i love sheet masks for my bro for my birthday last year, my uh, boyfriend's mom got me like a huge pack of sheet masks and I'm just about done with them. I have like one more sheet mask left. So I really like this. I'm excited to see what the actual mini miniature versions of this are because it doesn't have any details about what these mini sheet masks are. Like are there some for under the eyes? Are there some for like the chin and the forehead? I don't know. So it's, it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> we'll have to try to figure that out. Also, the packaging is adorable. I love this. Okay, so that is everything that came in our June box. I'm a little hesitant, especially about the Skin Chemist's product, considering how badly the other product broke me out. But I'm hopeful about the rest of them. We've got a nice sheet mask, we've got a nice big palette to try out, we got some mascara, and a nice lipstick. So... I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you have any subscription boxes still, because this is currently the only box that I get, really because it's, it highlights more indie and more different brands than a lot of the other subscription boxes, which is why I have this one and I'm keeping it. And I feel like it's doing a good job of getting me out of like 
my rut of just trying out like bigger brands and trying to mo move towards more indie and like smaller brands and brands that aren't really maybe not in the, the limelight. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Yeah, curly hair doesn't flow as nicely in the wind, I guess, for commercials. Huh. Huh. Yeah, they just look like they're wiggling. More, less than waving.